Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released the first extended security update, ESU update, for the Windows 10 operating system since Microsoft ended support for Windows 10 on the 14th of October last month. Now if we head to our settings, navigate to update and security, and if we head into our view update history, the first ESU update for Windows 10 is KB5068781 and Microsoft is now only addressing problems with this update for Windows 10. So with the ESU program now in operation, no new features should be expected, although, although I think only time will tell regarding that. Now the update is a mandatory update, so it will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. And because it is mandatory, just have a quick look at what the build upgrade would be. So if we just head into WinVer about Windows. For Windows 10 22H2, OS build is sitting on 19045.6575. Now the updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of the month, known as Patch Tuesday, are security updates. And as mentioned, ESU according to Microsoft, is only going to be getting security updates. So for this month, for Windows 10 22H2, there are 34 vulnerabilities that have been patched. Two are critical, which is your highest rank vulnerability, and 32 are important. And the two critical vulnerabilities are listed as GDR plus remote code execution vulnerability and DirectX graphics kernel elevation of privilege vulnerability. So two critical, 34 vulnerabilities have been patched in total. Now, although this is a security update, Microsoft has also fixed a known issue with KB5068781. And I actually posted on the known issue where Microsoft said that after installing the October 14 Patch Tuesday update, KB5066791, which was the last official update for Windows 10, unless you signed up for the ESU, there was a message, your version of Windows has reached the end of support, which might incorrectly display in the Windows Update Settings page, so on this page. Now Microsoft says that that issue now has been fixed, so Microsoft has fixed that known issue, which is good to see with this latest update for Windows 10, KB5068781. So if you were experiencing that issue and you are signed up to the ESU, then just double check that you get this update sooner than later. But as mentioned, it is a mandatory compulsory update. And then over and above that, Microsoft has updated the servicing stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates. So not too much going on with this first ESU update, but nonetheless good to see that it has rolled out and we are receiving security fixes now if you are signed up to the ESU. And if you weren't seeing the ESU, I have posted a video earlier today, which I'll leave linked down below in the end screen, that Microsoft has actually fixed the enrollment bug for some users who were not seeing the ESU displayed on the Windows Update page. Check the video out for more info. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.